you got for me? How nice is it to have Jordan back out on the field, you two together, and doing your thing? Uh, it was good. It was good coming into town on, uh, what day was it, Sunday night. Um, coming back, you know, knowing, uh, knowing Poe was coming back, um, everybody was asking me, is Poe going to be back? Is Poe going to be back? Uh, so, you know, obviously having him back is, is awesome. You know, we were, uh, I hit him up yesterday and I was like, man, I'm, I'm excited to be back on the field. So, um, it's good. Given the amount of experience you guys have, the success you've had in this league, um, I guess how much of an impact, from your perspective anyway, and business is business, right? But, but like, how much of an impact does his absence during the voluntary portion have on anything developmentally as far as the defense is concerned? Well, obviously, he's a, he's a big part of this defense. Um, and, uh, you know, when, when he's not here, um, it's different. Um, it's different whether if it's making calls, getting guys lined up, making plays, um, being a leader. Uh, you know, it's different. It's, that's a guy I feel like you can't replace. Um, so, you know, to have him back is, is uh, you know, a big part of the puzzle that we have on defense and um, just going to move us in the right direction. How special is it, though, playing alongside? Y'all guys came in together, you know, back in 2017, learning one another, and you, you guys are still here playing at a high level. Yeah. What is like, you know, what, how, how special is it to play alongside him? Uh, it's very special, very special. I think that um, I wouldn't be the player I am today without him, and uh, I think it's safe to say that he wouldn't be the player um, he is without me. You know, we just – Every single day, and I've told you guys this before, every single day we push each other. Um, you know, night before big practice, you know, we're texting each other, um, giving each other energy. We're waking up early. We're lifting together, um, just setting the tone for the day. Um, you know, I think that we just we just push each other. Um, you know, we kind of always had that uh, um, that underdog mentality, and so we just continue to push each other and, you know, let each other know that, you know, we're, we're in here for one reason, that's to win a Super Bowl, and um, we're going to keep working until we get that. Mike, I know that you both have been overlooked a lot for the last five years, but is there anything that Jordan does on the field that like, doesn't get anyone's attention, that anybody talks about, that makes him so special? Uh, just a, just an uh, all-around player. Uh, if you think about a safety, um, you think about a box safety, you think about a free safety, um, he can do it all. You know, he's... Uh, one maybe 195 on on game day and he's just in the box just fighting people um it's a it's a dog fight in there you got tight ends obviously you guys all know freaks in this league six four six five 250 60 pounds um you know and they can they can run fast so he you know he's in the box he can he can cover um run you know run defense run stopping uh he can just do it all and on top of that he's going to communicate He's going to communicate his ass off, and, and he's going to get guys lined up. And, um, yeah, anything, anything and everything you want in a, in a safety and in a player. What do you think it says about this team that it seems everyone understands the business side and, and, and supports him, even though that might mean his absence at times to, you know, to take care of himself? And it, it doesn't appear to make any waves negatively within the room. No, no, I think everybody, all players, um, understand the business of the uh, – I wouldn't say all players. I think as a, as a young player, you kind of just coming in here trying to make the team and you're clueless. You have no idea what the hell's going on. Uh, just trying to learn the playbook. But I think the older guys, they understand, you know, what goes into it. It's a business. Um, I think at the end of the day, just like you guys, we're trying to feed our families and, and uh, you know, we want to be compensated for, for the work that we do. And so, um, you know, when a situation like that comes along, you know, we have full faith that, you know, Poe's uh, representative is going to handle it and, uh and obviously, you know, the, the people upstairs here are going to handle it. So, you know, it's none of our business. And we just, you know, continue to go to work and just, you know, have his back because he's our teammate. And we know that when uh, he steps back in this building and, and the bullets start flying and, uh, you know, it's, um, uh, you know, Sunday or Monday or whatever day we play on, he's going to be out there battling with us. Mike, can you talk about, I mean, you've got Jordan back today, but Trey, Trey White, we still don't know. We won't know the training camp out where the coverage is going to be. Just the emphasis that you guys are placing on on guys to step up and put in gear. Um, well, I, you know, you just said uh, Tredavious. Uh, well, I think just first with him, uh, I don't think anybody really understands that that what he's been doing um, in the dark. You know, that that yeah, boy is he's been working. You know, I've been able to I've been fortunate enough to see some of the stuff he's been doing. He's he's working. He's working his ass off, and um, I know I I will put 
every single penny I have on today is coming back being a better player just because I'm, I'm that confident in him. And so I think that, you know, as a young guy coming in and, and seeing him work like that, working to get back, um, you have no choice but to, to go out here and compete and, and, and continue to work. Um, so each and every year we talk about next man up. Um, you know, nothing's ever going to change about that. You know, if guys guys get hurt, which is the nature of the, of the league, um, other guys got to step in. And, and like we just talked about, it's a business, so you got to perform. Your thoughts on Kyrie? Now, the, uh, how does he give you those Tredavious vibes being out there winning today? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, yeah, I've been uh, I've been gone uh, with the family, so um, I missed him the week that I was here for the the charity softball game. Uh, rookies got in late, so I didn't actually get to meet him face to face. So I kind of wanted to 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 meet face to face before uh, I didn't want to hit him up on social media. That's not me. I'm not a social media guy. I want to meet face to face. So um, getting here on Monday, uh, I was able to uh, to meet him. Um, and you can already tell he just listens. He pays attention. Um, you know, I don't know necessarily like who he was coached, um, his upbringing, all that type of stuff. But they they definitely taught him well, coached him well because he's he's all ears. He's he's trying to pick you. You can tell he, as I as I'm saying stuff, he's taking mental notes, um, and that's how Tredavious was. You know, when he first got here, uh, he was battling on the football field, which which Kay's doing, but also um, just just learning from his mistakes and learning from the older guys. Micah, has Isaiah McKenzie told you that he's singing on TV tonight? <laughs> yeah, he just said, watch uh, America's Got Talent. He just said, watch that tonight, and I'm like, why? He's like, because I'm singing. I'm like, get away. Like, what? <laughs> how does that even, you can't even say, I don't, I'm, I don't know. Is he really on it? Yeah. Oh, you guys are being for real. <laughs> With some other bills? Yeah. Like, like former bill players is what they said, right? No one else from it's the like team, but he is fire for fire sure going to be. I thought he was. I thought he was lying. I, <laughs> no. You maybe, may not be able to look away. From I'm sure when you guys are posted on 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 Twitter, or Instagram, I'll search it or something. I don't know. I, I'll I'll search I'll I'll search it for Isaiah. I'll search it for Isaiah. John. Chill out, bro. <laughs> I, I got an account. I just don't. I just not on it 24/7. I know you're excited to see Jordan, uh, but Shaq uh, back in the mix. We talked a little bit about Crane, him last yeah, year. Yeah. What was that like? And what are your impressions of this defensive line now with Von Miller? Uh, well, first defensive line, it's amazing. Uh, it's amazing to see those guys up front. You know, big bodies. Guys going to be working. Uh, get after the quarterback. And obviously, as a DB, you love to see that uh, ball got to get in the air and. Um, that's what we do best is take the ball away. And then, you know, having a guy like uh, Shaq back, uh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. Just his personality brings so much joy to the defense and, and energy. Um, and, you know, he's going to be he's going to be working his ass off to to uh, play at a high level. And there's you know, going to be a lot of guys in the D line competing for jobs. So um, they're all they're all going to be on their best. Uh, I, as soon as we got that signing, I was I was really excited. Uh, I was really excited. Just a couple of years ago, I knew that his name was kind of in the mix of of coming here. Um, unfortunately, it didn't happen. Uh, but having you know a guy with the 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 experience, um, the playmaking ability that he's had, um, you know, you can't you, you got to be excited for for that uh, for that addition. There's not a lot of time. Just kind of sit back and watch. You know how much you guys have progressed. We're, when you got here to where you guys are now and the expectations and how hard hard you guys work and how high you expect for the season to go. Like what do you think about that transformation? Um maybe one day when I'm done playing I'll I'll uh, I'll look back and relive the moments that we had um, you know, throughout this whole process. But right now, you know, we're all just focused on getting better. Um, you know, we had, you know, some personal success. We've had some team success over the last couple of years. Um, but I think it's safe to say that that the, you know not just us, but the community and everyone's dying for that for that ultimate goal. And so, um, you know, that's why you bring in guys like Vaughn, you know, guys that have won Super Bowls and stuff like that to kind of um, you know have that experience and, and let guys know how it is and what needs to be done to to get there. So, um, yeah, maybe one day I'll look back. But you know, right now we're all focused on just trying to get better and and um, take it to the next level.